for a better day. Create it. Don't dream of a better future. Build it. And we will help you achieve it as we become AIA Philippines, bringing together over 70 years of local experience and the strength of one of the largest life insurance companies across Asia, providing protection to millions through our top advisors and partners. We will constantly innovate as we develop products that will save lives and help fulfill dreams of Filipino families and create new insurance possibilities to keep up with your ever-changing needs. So don't work towards a good life. Aim for the best one because AIA Philippines will help you finally live it. Love can be said in many ways. Say it in a more meaningful way by getting an AIA insurance plan and enjoy the benefits of Total Health Solution. So you can protect your loved one's health and save up for their dreams and future. Now that is true love. Love is better said with AIA. life and live with vitality it's a wellness program that challenges you to rethink your limits and reminds you that you can choose to do one more one more healthy recipe one more hour of meditation one more hour of sleep one more health check one more round of cardio one more week of hitting fitness targets until you realize that the only limits you have are those that you set on yourself. Live healthier, longer, better. We may have different health needs. all have one goal. To be the healthiest we can be. Count on AIA Philippines to help you achieve it with our Total Health Solution, a personalized all-in-one solution to help you stay healthy, live worry-free, and recover fully. We will constantly innovate so you can live a healthy life every day. Allow me to be one of the very first to greet you all a Merry, Merry Christmas. That is eight days away. And in 14 days, we are saying goodbye to 2022. 
Hello to all of you. Thank you very much for signing up for our webinar. We appreciate your time. You are probably busy with Christmas preparations. Maybe you're even on the road headed off to a Christmas party. Whichever one it is, we appreciate that you are joining us here this afternoon. So please let me know where it is you're actually calling in from or where it is you're watching this webinar from. Are you at home? Are you in the car? Are you driving off somewhere? Are you in the mall walking around finishing up with all of your Christmas shopping let us know over in the chat section okay how is everybody doing today that I'd like to know as well now once again it is that time of the year where we are wrapping things up to close a chapter and move on to a new one so for today AIA Vitality would also want to cap off 2022 in this virtual financial forum with all of you allow me to introduce myself an absolute honor and pleasure being with all of you my name is Jelly Victor and I will be here as we discuss our financial health for the coming year and our family's future along with some insights on how we can protect ourselves in a projected economic decline Ooh. now surely it is going to be an exciting and fruitful session awaiting us so i hope everyone is excited but i will be checking the chat right now just to see who else it is that is locked in so once again please do not be shy Say hello over on the chat. Let me know where it is you're watching from, which part of Manila, or if you're outside of Manila, kung saan po sa Pilipinas, let us know. And maybe even let us know what it is you are most excited about. Because we are going to be unboxing three things today. What are you most looking forward to? Let me know, okay? Another thing that excites me more about this afternoon is our guest power couple coming up later on. We will hear their stories of fitness, finance, and future, and how they are enjoying the rewards of a life that is well-lived and healthy. Now, it is true that being healthy has never been this rewarding. Aside from financial protection, investment, and savings, AIA Vitality rewards members with the benefits that we can enjoy just because we are living life well and healthy. Now, through our healthy choices in life, we gain points that uplifts our status, thus helping us reap bigger rewards with a wide range of partners, including gyms, athletic shops, even hotels, travel and entertainment hubs. We will definitely enjoy our personal health and fitness journey along with our friends and family. You know, I'll just uh, share my own personal experience sometimes when i'm not yet hitting the necessary points for the week whether it's 150 200 or 250 points i would always tell my daughter uh, hold on i just need to go outside and walk around the village several times because i have 50 more points and i like to complete i like seeing that there are still four or five more days to complete the points but i'm already done i love doing that within like by Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. So that's just a tip. So hindi kayo nagahabol. Get it done early part of the week. Now, I recently got a full health checkup in one of the partner clinics and I got a great discount on the tests because I am a member of AIA Vitality. I also accumulated additional points as a member. So I improved my status, which means better and bigger rewards. Plus, I get to submit an entry for the December raffle. Now, I missed out on the November raffle because I thought it was until November 30, but it wasn't, so I missed out. But I knew that there was going to be another one in December. So here it is, home improvement appliances, refrigerators, washing machines, Dyson fans. That's for doing the AIA Vitality Health Check Tests. So you just need four results. Make sure you check out the app so you see what those four tests are input your results if it is um you know you already right away you get an entry in 
just for doing those tests, which you should be doing either way. And then for working out, moving your body, you can join for a chance to win home entertainment appliances. There's a home theater system, there's a projector and a sound bar, all up for grabs. Just make sure you accumulate at least 100 points every single week. I am proud to say that for this week, I am already done. I've been done for days now, yay. <laughs> I also got my uh, voucher code for um, getting those points in for this entire week. I am proud of myself. I hope you are too. Let me know who is done. Okay, I am checking the chat right now. And I've got somebody who is watching from Makati. Hello from your FIT financial advisor. Yes, FIT. Dahil merong AIA Vitality and it rewards you for being FIT, right? We also have Deliza Orok who's watching from Cebu. Um, Jana Montemayor watching from her house. That's a good place to be in. I've also got uh, Jay Ranoco who is over in Bataan. Joanna is applauding. Is it because you've um, accumulated? Oh, saying hi, rather. She's waving. Hi as well to Sheila Talana, who is watching from Pasay. Montserrat Lustado is watching from Antipolo. May watching from Cebu. And another one over in the Queen City of the South, Jeric Alburo, watching from Quezon Province. That's Max Odasco Ayan. Because they saw this is really live and I'm checking out the messages over on chat. They are now messaging. I will read more of your uh, messages later on. But I do want to remind all of our attendees, if you have questions for our presenters, for our speakers, please put it over in the Q&A box. So there's a separate Q&A box. There's a separate chat section for your questions. Just so it doesn't get lost in the, the messages everyone is sending in please put it in in the Q&A box. All right, got it? Now let's talk talk again about rewards, rewards that we can enjoy. We will also be having a raffle at the end of our program. Yay, more prizes. The mechanics, very, very simple. All you have to do is answer the post-event survey, which we will share later on. Get a chance to become one of three winners of a Garmin Vivo Fit 4 or one of five winners for Enchanted Kingdom regular day passes for two. That Garmin Vivo Fit, you can of course sync it with your AIA Vitality app so it tracks all of your steps, it tracks your workout, and then you get to bring the family over or uh, your special someone to Enchanted Kingdom. All of that up for grabs later on. So make sure you stick around until the very end and the best of luck to you. Now, in light of the holiday season's gift giving spirit, we will be unboxing the gift from AIA Vitality. It is time to get our discussion rolling with the first gift. Witness this unboxing with our first speaker. He is the CEO and founder of Bookie, an application that enables its users to discover restaurants, make appointments, and enjoy discounts. Now, before turning to business, our speaker worked in commercial real estate leasing and investment. Let's get straight to the topic of finance with Ben Wintle. Hi everyone! Thanks for the introduction, Jelly. Uh, I was a, I was a little uh, surprised that you mentioned my uh, very early employment history. I was in commercial real estate like twenty no, like 15, 16 years ago. Um, so funny that you that you uh, were able to pick that up. Uh, so hi everyone. Um, my name is Ben. Uh, I came to the Philippines, a little bit about me first, I came to the Philippines about 11 years ago. Uh, I've always kind of been an entrepreneur. I came to the Philippines to set up my, my tech business. Uh, when I first arrived in the Philippines, I, I met my, my co-founder, CTO, um, and I met my wife, who we will see later. Um, to describe me, I'm, uh, you know, being an entrepreneur, I have... Uh, always been uh, optimistic. 
about everything in life, um, which which you might see from from uh, what I talk about in relation to to, to finances uh, in the next next segment. I uh, I'm generally very sporty. Uh, I play a lot of tennis in the Philippines, um, and I cannot go to bed any night without eating a bit of dark chocolate. I literally cannot. Um, so I'll jump into my my segment. Um, so the, the general theme today is um, being um, being fit in relation to to finances and and health. Um, so I think we've got some some slides that the team can start to load up. Uh, I'm going to begin by just setting some context on um, my outlook on uh, 2023. Um, so generally speaking, I'm an optimist. I I'm excited about life, and so I'm excited about life in 2023. Um, obviously, a lot of a lot of things are being said about about the the direction of economy. Um, and these next few things are uh, my uh, my perspectives on, on on some of these talking points. So, in relation to um, the cost of stuff, um, my research tell me actually my research tells me that actually it's it's actually reached its peak, right? Um, we see that interest rates are starting to uh, ease a little bit. Um, that is because the 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 the, the growth rate of um, uh, price inflation is actually slowing. So um, um, I think uh, price infl infl inflation is not going to get worse or much worse next year. Um, energy prices, however, however, uh, are going to continue to be up, down, up, down uh, because of everything going on in the world. Um, overall, um, my my prediction is, is that overall it's going to be Energy prices are going to be more more expensive next year than a little bit more expensive next year than um, than 2022. Um, third point, um, and you know this is probably the most important one. Again, I'm an optimist. Um, in terms of creating wealth, uh, I believe there is always opportunities. There is an abundance of opportunities to 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 do that, uh, and we'll talk about that uh, a bit more later. So um, in terms of uh, strategy, how do we how do we go into to 2023? Um, I view making money as a game. Uh, as I mentioned, I play a lot of tennis. I'm very, very sporty. Um, so I like to draw parallels with with sport. And so when you play sport, um, in any sport, there's offense and there's defense. Um, so this is how I frame my thinking when it comes to this game of, of making money. So to, to, to explain kind of what I mean here on, on offense, um, these are my, call it initiatives or, or tactics um, to, to build your offensive approach. First, be clear on what you want from life. Um, setting goals will help you focus your attention on um, the work that we have to do to achieve those goals. Uh, it sounds simple, but you know, so many of us, when when asked the question, "What do you want from life?" Um, not often people actually have a clear, succinct answer. Um, uh, myself included. So this is something I. Uh, this is a question I revisit. Um, often, probably every couple of months, um, I uh, have a practice of journaling where I ask this question to myself um, regularly and, and I always make sure to write those, those answers down. Uh, second, um, we can always create opportunities. We touched on it earlier. Um, so uh, looking for ways to help others build your value and open, uh, will open will open new opportunities to go after. So this can be interpreted um, um, in, in different contexts. Um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of Filipinos are naturally uh, entrepreneurial. Um, obviously, a lot, of, a lot of us have uh, side hustles. 
right? Maybe sell something online. Um, and that's great. Um, if you're in a job and maybe you don't have time for 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 kind of a side hustle, then um, there are opportunities internally at your job um, to create a bigger role for yourself, right? And the principle, the first principle here is uh, be helpful. Look for ways to help others, right? When you help a colleague, when you help um, your boss, your supervisor with something, then they see, ah, this person has the ability to take on more. Um, let's give them more responsibility, a bigger role, and, and hopefully more money. Uh, third, uh, an offensive strategy is um, manifest. Manifest your wishes and desires. The universe will deliver what you think about every day. Um, so I, I do a manifestation exercise every morning. Uh, I picture the, the life that I, and this is obviously in positive language, I picture the life that I know I will get um, in the near future. Um, and, you know, it's the universal golden rule, right? What you focus your mind on, you will, you will get. Um, that could be in the form of uh, prayer, right? It really acts in the same way. Um, and, uh, you know, this concept relates to, I guess, the language you use every day, right? If you keep telling yourself, if, if the talk in your mind is, I don't want to go broke, I don't want to go broke, then you probably end up going broke because you're actually thinking about being broke a lot, right? So um, it's, you know, I see it as exercise. I see it as training. To, to focus in your mind on, um, you know, what, again, what you want in life. It's, it's, it's actually uh, almost, it, it's almost like training your mind to be, to, to catch out negative thought patterns, identifying those and switching those to a positive, right? Flipping a negative thought into a positive. So if, 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 if I think, oh, I don't want to go broke, the skill is catching that out and, 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 and flipping that to, I'm going to have 5 million pesos in my bank account in six months, right? Um, so cool. That's some tactics um, for, for an offensive strategy. Uh, let's now go to uh, uh, defensive. Cool. So number one, establish a monthly budget. Allocate spending buckets, less discretionary spending, more, more going to savings. Um, you know, in this talk, I was thinking about delivering some tips on, on how to save better, but like I think you guys have heard a lot of that before. Um, the most important one, it really starts with, with establishing monthly, monthly budget. Um, and I think the hard, well, the challenge for, 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 for Isa and I and, and most other uh, adults is we don't actually approach this with, with an adult-like attitude. I think it's got to be a very deliberate uh, intention to say, hey, let's sit down Sunday at 4 p.m. and talk about finances, right? It's very, very adult-like. Uh, we're only starting to, to, to kind of get the hang of that. Uh, when it comes to allocating um, your spend buckets, you know, obviously the general theme, if you want to be more cautious, is less discretionary spend. When I say discretionary spend, that's like, you know, the stuff that you don't really need, eating out, um, buying branded goods, that's dumb. Um, well, again, to the extent that, 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 that you can, can or can't afford it. Um, and obviously we want to put more of that money each, each month into like a piggy bank of some sort. Uh, and ideally that piggy bank actually uh, generates passive income for you as well. Second point here, have the discipline to execute the plan. Um, so it sounds simple, but um, I'm not very good at it. Um, my guess is that most people are actually not very good at following through with a plan. And so point number three is the same. Have the discipline to execute your savings plan. Um, and uh, yeah, so I just really wanted to hammer, hammer that point home, right? It's one thing to have a plan. It's a totally another thing to, to, to follow through on it. Uh, you know, the best example is it is Jelly. Jelly knows about this issue. Uh, we're entering the Christmas season. We're getting invited to, uh, by friends to, to dinner at restaurants, right? And so we might have uh, a monthly budget or monthly quota. We're only going to, for example, we're only going eat, to eat out twice a week, but we've already eaten out twice a week and some good friends 
um, and won't invite us to a dinner. Um, you know, it requires a lot of discipline to say no. Um, um, but maybe, you know, there's a better suggestion. Maybe we could eat uh, at home, right? At least you can buy the food, prep it, it'll be cheaper, right? So it's not easy. Um, but I think, you know, any, any new behavior, it starts with a plan. It requires discipline to execute. And then it actually gets easier, right? Because it becomes habit. Uh, next slide, please. So the question I post to you guys is, what's your mix of offense and defense? So obviously, um, the strategy, your strategy for 2023 is going to be personalized to you, right? And so there's things you need to consider to, to develop your own strategy. Um, for example, um, are you in some debt? Uh, for example, do you have some commitments coming up? Do you have a baby on the way? Um, are you about to buy a house? Uh, third, um, are you, uh, do you have a side hustle? Do you have a, uh, an additional source of income? Um, are you beginning to capture an opportunity to, to make more money? Uh, what is your risk tolerance? So these are all questions that you have to uh, account for yourself to, to develop your, your percentage mix of, of how much of your strategy is offense, defense. Uh, personally, uh, again, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm optimistic. Um, personally, I, I, I have always kind of had a, uh, I've always been kind of, my strategy has been 90% offensive, 10% uh, defensive. Um, I have a, a great company that's capturing a lot of opportunity in the Philippines. Um, and so I'm just generally focused on, 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 on helping people through what we do and, and creating wealth um, through that. But um, Ease and I having a baby now, and I would say that's, that's being tweaked to, to maybe 70, 30, right? So um, I'm, I'm taking a slightly more defensive approach, um, knowing that we'll, we'll have a, a little person uh, to look after very soon. Uh, yeah, I think, you know, I, just the last thing I'll say here, guys, is, um, you know, we've never been in a, uh, uh, we've never been as well equipped as we are today to, to do uh, a good job of finances, right? And, and, you know, the main thing that comes to mind is we have all the resources on the internet, right? We have all the information on the internet as to, as to, uh, to teach, educate ourselves on, 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 on how to tackle this properly. There are tools on the internet. There are like, there, there are calculators um, that help you uh, and, and templates to help you uh, plan your monthly budgets. Uh, the execution, however, is on you, which is, which is the tougher part. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll leave it there. I'll, uh, I hope that, that you guys uh, found some of that useful. Please do, do comment uh, which, 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 which parts of my, of my segment uh, that resonated with you the most. Um, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you very much, Ben. What an insightful talk. He is asking to let us know over on the chat which parts of his presentation resounded with you the most. Well, aside from the fact that I, I like being given the permission to now eat dark chocolate before I go to bed because Ben does it. <laughs> no, but I, I particularly loved how he admits that the execution of sticking to the budget is sometimes the problem. Yes, and I noticed that that was a deliberate thing to put it twice as number two and number three. No, that was not a typo. Ben knows what he is presenting. Um, it was a deliberate reminder for everyone that we may miss out on the execution. So we just need to work on that a little bit more. You know, he said there's a lot of tools that can be found on the internet. It's true because just last night I was watching a series of videos by Mel Robbins and she was talking about the proper way to manifest. So aside from manifesting your desires and your wishes and keeping it in mind and putting it on a positive note you know phrasing it positively she also talked about visualizing the steps visualizing the bridge that will get you to your goals that will get you to fully accomplish and achieve your dreams and your wishes and ben 
elaborately talked about that by saying, you know, you have to think about, okay, what are, if we need to stick to a budget, what do we need to do? So, um, we need to say no sometimes, we need to say no to uh, dinners, we need to say no to spending, we need to say maybe say no to some special sales that happen every single month. <laughs> you can always add it to cart, but you don't necessarily have to check it out. All right. Do you have questions for Ben? Please do let us know. Send it over on our chat. We will collate all of those questions for our Q&A segment later on. Yes, Lauren Marie Angel says, I love it when Ben reminded to revisit our goals from time to time, sticking to a budget every month. If you missed out on doing that, let's say in January, don't fall off the wagon for the rest of the year try again in february and then in march the same thing with working out i know for a lot of people it's part of the new year's resolution that this is the year i'm going to get fit this is the year that i will really commit to a healthy lifestyle and then after the first week you fall off the wagon unfortunately many of us stay off the wagon for the rest of the year so let's just go back get back on the get back on track okay let me see who else is commenting here we got a lot of hearts chelsea yekaterina bernardo yes and sheila talana chelsea mermida mermida i hope i'm saying your surname correctly they all they're all sending love to you ben thank you very much all right so let us now continue talking about rewards that we can enjoy and there's going to be one right at the end of our program you simply need to answer the post event survey which we will be sharing later on get a chance to be one of three winners of a garmin vivo fit 4 or be one of five winners of enchanted kingdom regular day passes for two just keep on watching and then accomplish the survey form you never know you just might receive that message that you have won for attending for sending in comments, for learning, for participating. You never know what it's gonna be. Now, let's move forward to our second gift. This time, we will be with one of the most successful women in Philippine show business. One of the most beautiful faces as well. I, I, I just need to say that. She has won two Cinemalaya Film Festival Awards, three Golden Screen Awards, and a Gawad Urian Award, amongst many others. She is also the founder of She Talks Asia, a community experience and impact agency that aims to share messages of empowerment through diversity and inclusion. They also have a podcast. Love listening to the podcast. Now, she is a personal inspiration of of mine and a motivator to move and dance especially during the pandemic thank you very much for that darling let us now unbox the gift of fitness with none other than isa calzado wintel Hello everyone. Good afternoon. I am Isa Calzado Wendel. Thank you, Jelly, for that lovely introduction. I love you. I love you. We are here. We've been supporting each other. Isa ka rin sa mga goals ko talaga in life and inspiration. So, thank you. Um, earlier, you met my husband and, and he did share a little bit about himself. Um, so, allow me to share also a little bit about myself. So I've been in the industry for 20 years now. I'm my first hat is that I'm an actor, um, actress. Uh, I do a bit of hosting and some dancing because I love it. As Jelly said, um, I move. Uh, I love to sing, but it's been done mostly in the shower. So that's a little bit about me. And um, I love food just as much as my husband loves food. Uh, so that's it. That's why we have a Bookie, the food app. And so today, I've been asked to share a little bit about my fitness journey with all of you. So my fitness journey really started when I was 19. 
when I landed a Pantene commercial in 2002. And, you know, I was still a little bit more malaman. And I was asked if I could lose a little bit of weight before we started um, uh, filming the commercial. And so I got into aerobics at that time. And I, from that time on, I haven't stopped working out or moving. And in, in, in the beginning, it wasn't as consistent, but that changed through the years. So fitness for me in the beginning was not really something that was for health. I'll be honest with you. Um, it was mainly attached to the desire to be thinner. You know, my industry, it can be tough. Actually, kahit wala ka naman sa showbiz eh. Mga Pilipino, mapuna tayo. So life in, in the Philippines can be tough for, for us because we're always asked about our weight. So I always attached working out to kind of like a solution to, to becoming thinner, to becoming more, I guess, beautiful or sexier, ganyan. So... Of course, because this is driven by unrealistic um, beauty standards then. Um, so background, a little background also about me. Uh, I used to be obese when I was a teen. So I hit over 220 pounds. So compounded with that history and the unrealistic expectations of the industry that I found myself in, I was always working out so that I could be thinner. So my relationship with working out was not as healthy in the beginning. So it was years of trial and error, shortcuts, learning what works, and more importantly, what does, what does not work for my body in different seasons of my life. So pre-pandemic, I was working out a lot. As I said, I've been moving ever since, and I think since I was 25, mga ganyan, um, my, my Working out has been kind of like second nature to me. And it's a habit that I developed through the years. So pre-pandemic, I was working out a lot. Uh, I was dieting hard because I, I think I was, what, 38 now by then. But, you know, the one thing that I was lacking in was recovery because I wasn't sleeping as much. So here's a, a few photos and videos from some of my workouts from, I think, 2016, if I, I remember correctly. So that's me, yeah, working out in 2016, October. That's up with my trainer, Culver Padilla. Shout out, Culver. <laughs> and then... We have a video of me. That's me um, in 2018 during a vacation we had in England. So Ben and I were working out. Um, so even when on when we're on vacation, I work out. That's me in 2020. That's January 21, 2020. Doing a, still a lot of workouts. As you can see, it's been pretty consistent for me. I never really stopped working out. Uh, so there, doing hip thrusts at the gym. <laughs> so I, I was always like, just always active. So after work, that's that's it. Um, that's all pre-pandemic that was taken just before the pandemic happened. That's probably about uh, Feb or March of 2020, first week. And um, yeah, because working out for me was always a priority. After work, I would always, work, work out. Sometimes even if I have work, as long as I can uh, find time to work out, I will. Because it gives me good energy. It's It, it, was, it also went beyond just looking thin at this point. It was something that made me feel good about myself. Um, it gave me a good uh, energy boost. I, but like I said, something was lacking in my 
wellness. That's that's um, Ben and I. Uh, sometimes we get to work out. That was for a um, yoga event of our friend Teresa Herrera. You know, we don't get to work out often together, but when we do, we really do treasure it, and um, we have fun. So it's nice. Unfortunately, I'm not as good at tennis as he is, and he's not as good in dancing as I am. <laughs> so like I said earlier, in terms of um, fitness and wellness, I had the great habit of, you know, working out, I was quite disciplined as well with my food intake, but the one thing I really lacked in was sleep, recovery. And after 18 years of being in the entertainment industry in the Philippines, it meant that for 18 years, my sleep patterns were erratic. I rarely had good quality of sleep. These are things that maybe I could get away with when I was in my 20s. I remember when we were doing Encantadia, sometimes three, four hours lang in Tuluco, and I would still go to the gym after as in lift weights huh? and I would be okay. That would be fine. And it started to change when I was in my 30s, mid 30s. And I, I felt that I was always getting sick. As a matter of fact, leading to the pandemic, uh, I was getting the flu maybe three, four times a year. And some of those photos that I, sh I showed you, I was actually sick, but still working out. Um, which we all know is not a good idea, right? Um, especially now, we know that. So until one day, it finally almost quit on me, my body. In March of 2020, I was patient 878 in the Philippines for the coronavirus. And here is a photo of me in the hospital. Um, you know, when, we, when Ben and I think about, we, we actually don't like talking about this time of our lives as much, but it, it's quite good to revisit so that we know we, sh we shouldn't punish. Well, ako lang naman talaga. Um, I shouldn't, I guess, I, I, I should value my health a lot and really make sure that I'm healthy and prioritize my health because I don't want this to happen again. Um, so when I, when I got the coronavirus, it really hit me hard because my body was tired. People often would say when, you know, when I got out from the hospital, people would say, but you're so young and you're healthy, diba? I mean, if you think about it, yeah, I would be on the cover of women's health. I would be a fitspiration, all these things. Why? Because I looked a certain way. And yes, my diet was right, but again, I was missing a very crucial component of fitness and wellness, and that is sleep and recovery. So coronavirus, COVID actually, personally, I, I'll speak from personal experience, was a wake-up call for me. So in, in, in some ways, it was a blessing for me. And I'm glad I survived it because not because what happened was I was able to reassess what good health, fitness, and wellness meant to me. So from then on, I started sleeping more. And thanks to, you know, what was happening then, the industry itself also took it upon themselves, ourselves, to reassess how we can have better working hours. So finally got to sleep and, you know, there was more time to rest, even when we were on set. So what I did was I kept working out. To be honest, in terms of my diet, I didn't change much. I was diagnosed with subclinical hypothyroidism just before I got the coronavirus. So that was just addressed. But everything was, was good. To be honest, I was eating a little more, I guess, carbs. I was not depriving myself as much as I used to pre-pandemic because before I would go on these detox juice cleanses, fasting here and there. And it does have a good benefit if you're well rested. But for someone like me, if you're not sleeping properly and you're working out hard, and then you do all these um, fasting detox things, 
it's not going to be good for you because your hormones are going to be all over the place. Your body will just want to hold on to whatever fat is left in your body. And so I started listening to my body more. Uh, I started to respect it more. Instead of pushing my body to do two workouts a day when I could, one is enough. Uh, I started to work out less, sleep more, and just have a more balanced approach when it came to my um, to my fitness and wellness. And, and one of the things that I'm quite proud of is that I've been able to take out the um, binge starve mentality because before, parang I will starve myself. And remember, before you you before you go on a, this strict diet because you're taking out food from your from your system, de ba parang the tendency is that you eat so much because you feel like you're you're gonna be deprived for let's say two weeks. Oh, I'm not gonna have carbs for two weeks. Kahit yung mga keto, when I did that, I was quite miserable, to be honest. Um, but that's my personal experience. Uh, but if you think about it in such a way that, hey, I'm just not going to have this for a bit. I've had it before. And, you know, once in a while, if I want it, I can have it. Then it becomes a healthier relationship with food. And so this is the result of just a more balanced approach sharing with you some videos workout videos this is from 2021 just after we wrapped up ang sa iyo ay akin so it's just really home workouts and i'm not even lifting heavy the way i was in some of the other videos that you saw before but I was finally able to do a push-up, which I could never do for years and years. Yeah. There. That's me working out, always dancing, moving in between sets, having fun. Because fitness for me is fun. That's how... I think we should view it not as, not as a chore, but something that we should be grateful for. Because the fact that we can move is already a gift in itself. And here's another video from earlier. Uh, this is me. Uh, I was inside the bubble of Dharna. So even if I'm on set, if my trainer is not there, I still find ways. Uh, to work out, to make sure that I, you know, maintain a certain level of fitness. Especially for this, um, I was preparing to do uh, fight scenes for Darna. So I was training very hard. And as you can see, <laughs> I, I always have fun when I work out. Because I, I choose to celebrate what my body is capable of doing. It's not so much na, ah, oh, sexy lang ako dito, yung ganon. I enjoy it. Kasi, first of all, I almost lost my life when I was when I was in the hospital. So talagang, because of that, I have a different way of viewing every workout, every chance, actually every day when I wake up. It's, it's already a gift in itself. So for years, I was training extra hard. And very focused on, I thought, because I had to do Dharna. And I was preparing so much for that. Uh, but what I didn't know was that God was preparing me for a much bigger role in my life. And that is as a mother. So I had no idea that in May, May of this year, God is going to give me a great blessing. And the great thing is that by the time this blessing came into our lives, I had already built healthier habits and instilled the discipline of working out, eating well, and sleeping. That's Ben and I during his birthday um, weekend in Boracay, working out. And some people would say, Ano ka ba? Ang tanda-tanda mo na. Dapat hindi ka nag work out. Um... Hindi mo ba iniisip yung baby mo? 
ah, hindi ko naman po isa sa alang-alang ang isang biyayang bigay ng Panginoon kung sa tingin ko delikado ito. So, you know, I, I proceed with caution and a lot of prayers talaga and make sure that I listen to my body. And, you know, they say despite my age because this pregnancy came later in life. I just turned 40. But, you know, what I really think is that I believe that these healthy habits and the level of fitness which I am at has greatly played a role in this phase of my life because you know as you can as you can see I'm still able to move today I, I did a 20 minute workout before this syempre nagsiscale down na ako kasi po 8 months na po ako ngayon na, nagbubuntis syempre it, you know I cannot move and expend energy the way I used to so I have to be realistic with how much energy I have and I have to again I go back to respecting my body so I'm still working out and moving and I'm so grateful to be mobile and healthy as I grow this blessed life inside me so I'm here to give some fitness tips for 2023. I am no trainer. This is just from personal experience. And medyo nagayahin ko yung asawa ko. Gaya gaya ako eh. <laughs> so, for 2023, make a decision to create healthier habits. Sa akin kasi, it really starts from that. You have to own it. You have to make a decision and, and really it's a commitment to others and you have to be accountable for that commitment and kailangan buo yung loob natin jelly said earlier that's true a lot of people go new year new me but um diba? it's it's always like new year i'm gonna have this fitness goal and we lose it maybe along the way but that's fine just because you lose it briefly doesn't mean you mean you can't make your way back to it so an, a tip for that also is being realistic with your goals because I think it would be unfair for, for me to, to impose my fitness regimen onto other people who probably have less time because they have more children or more work and they have certain regular hours of work. But again, your reality, you know that more than anybody else. So set realistic goals for yourself. If you know you can only do 10 minutes, 20 minutes of whatever movement that will spark joy, because that's also another side tip here, it has to be something that you enjoy. Because I said this earlier, fitness should not be a chore it should be viewed as, as a blessing, that you can do it. So please find that because if when you do, you will be able to enjoy it and stick to it for a longer period of time. And speaking of sticking to it, like Ben said earlier, have the discipline to stick to your commitment. Easier said than done, but it's really building that discipline that will be helpful for us. And, and for me, this doesn't happen overnight. And may, maybe like, you know, marami dyan um, na panghihinaan ng loob. Just because you miss one workout or a week of working out doesn't mean you can't pick it up again the week after. So just keep at it until it becomes second nature and the next thing you know these things not just working out um it's choosing your food uh all these things even sleeping for me what happened is it became a habit i you know be, this baby is really such a blessing because i used to have insomnia and i still have a lot of energy at night but what's helped me a lot just personal sharing is that i get now uh, sun in the morning like 10 to 15 minutes and it has helped me tremendously in in getting better sleep at night so just these things it's a habit that we need to 
to really do. And so uh, just, just these are just some tips. And, you know, when I talk about fitness, I really think there, that there is so much value in investing in your health. Because trust me when I say that pag nasa hospital ka at nasa, you know, when you're in a position where you're fighting for your life, all everything else doesn't matter. You, you're, you realize how important your health is and how much value you should put when it comes to your health. So when challenges come our way, we can face them better when we are of sound mind, body, and spirit. So even if the economy takes a dip, we have a gloomy economy, a fit mind and body will certainly be able to handle these trying times much better than if we are not on top of it sharper and clearer in our thoughts, our words, and actions. We face these dips with a healthier mindset. And of course, the habits we have created for ourselves. Thank you. And so that's it. Just those are my tips for 2023. And um, I hope you, you know, my, my sharing has touched um, your heart and uh, I don't know, I hope you learned something from it. And yeah, I'm so grateful that we're here today and, and sharing all these um, knowledge with each other. I learned so much from my husband as well, listening to him, Kanina. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Send over lots of love for Isa Calzado Wintel. Do it over on the chat. You know, she was saying, I hope that uh, my sharing somehow that the message came across that you've learned something from the sharing. Oh, Isa, they definitely did. I am looking at the comments here. I think the one thing that you said during your presentation that really made a mark on many of our attendees is when you emphasize that fitness should not be a chore. It should be something that you enjoy, that is enjoyed. I also especially love how you said just being able to move is a gift in itself. And I think that's a great reminder for everyone because now what happens is like um, on a weekend or during this these uh, Christmas parties, when you pig out, you end up saying to yourself, I'm going to punish myself at the gym. So your mind now starts to equate that working out and fitness is actually a punishment when it shouldn't be. So thank you very much for that reminder. Um, from your presentation, we also got that consistency is key. So thank you very much for that. Now, everyone, um, just to remind you, you can send over questions over on the chat for Ben or Isa. If you have anything you'd like to send over to them, please do so. Let me just read a few of the comments, Isa, just so you know, people were reacting to your presentation. Julian Avril Fortuna says, I totally agree. It usually starts like that. The desire to look thinner instead of healthier. So hopefully Isa's presentation presentation reminds you that the goal should really be to just keep moving and to be healthy, to incorporate fitness into your lifestyle rather than your outward appearance. Because if the goal is to get thinner, it's kind of like telling your body and telling your subconscious that how you are right now, that there's something wrong with you, that there's something wrong with your body rather than, you know, just, I just want to move because I enjoy it. I also see here that Jacqueline Lanuza says, uh, Miss Isa's transition. I love it. Seeing her is very inspiring and proves that we can be stronger in consistency. She also, uh, Julian Avril Fortuna adds, I can absolutely relate with Isa, formerly obese, who turned her life around and found fitness and health. I've been regularly training and grinding hard since 2013 and only understood the power of recovery when the pandemic began. She Cheers, Isa. All right. Um, I, I remember seeing another really good one. John Christian Relosa says, fitness should be viewed as blessings to be done and enjoyed and not treated as a chore. Yes to this. Okay, let me just make sure I am not missing out. 
Um, Christy Sandaga says, very helpful tips. Marion Grace Figueroa says, listen to your body. Anna Rose, fitness is a blessing. Um, Julian Argia Jr. says, thank you so much for very inspiring messages and testimony. Ma'am Isa Calzado, a lot of a lot time to do fitness workout and listen to your body if you can still do more workout more workouts or not that's the beauty of being a member of aia vitality because you get to keep track of your workouts your movement and sleep and recovery yes you do get points for sleep and recovery it's the best feeling when you see it pop up on the app that you just got more points for sleep okay now, as we continue talking about rewards we can enjoy, we will also be having a raffle at the end of our program. So just stick around until the very end. Answer the post-event survey, which we will share later on. And you will you just might be one of three winners of a Garmin Vivo Fit 4 or one of five winners of Enchanted Kingdom regular day passes for two. Just keep on watching and the best of luck. All right. Also, send over your questions that you might have for our speakers, whether it's Ben, Isa, or both of them. Send it over right now. That way we have enough time to collate all of those questions and ask our presenters. Now, finally, we are down to the third and final gift. Let's have our lovely couple back to unbox the gift of a secured future. Hello again, Ben and Isa. <laughs> so, Mina, let's jump out of the gift. <laughs> yes, we have you unboxed you. <laughs> Our, uh, we, are, we have unboxed Ben and Isa for everyone. I like that. But, you know, we, we saw the tips of your, your heads. I'm like, oh, I'm like, I, I was panicking. Oh, no, the camera tip. <laughs> that was Ben's idea. <laughs> Of course. Hello again, Ben and Isa. All right, so for everyone. Hi. Hi, you guys. Hello. You know, I saw these two out on a date when they were just starting out. And then I kind of felt that hmm, there's something about this, Ben. Well, I'm just sharing. Okay, so Ben shared his personal Hello. outlook about the Pardon? You remember what she, do you remember where you saw us? I don't remember the restaurant, but it, I, I bumped into both of you, and then Isa uh, introduced you to me, introduced me to you, and then you guys went off. And next thing I know, you guys got married. Okay. Anyway, back to our topic. <laughs> So Ben shared his personal outlook about finance and Isa told the story of her journey into fitness and empowerment. Now let us dive deep into their outlook as a married couple coming into 2023. Now as for our viewers, you may also start sending in your questions for our Q&A that's happening later on. You may key them in through the Zoom chat box or the Q&A box, either or. We will check those both so that we can gather all of those questions okay first of all before i ask the first question i am getting a lot of messages over on the chat congratulating both of you for the bundle of joy that's coming your way in 2023 so congratulations thank you thank you everyone thank you which leads us to question number one what are the gifts that you are thankful for this year 2022 Okay, I'll start off um, just personally, of course, the gift of good health, not just mine, but the good health of all our loved ones. Alam mo yung, pag, pag matapos yung taon, tapos alam mo, Lord, kompleto pa kami. Alam mo yun, thank you, Lord. Walang may sakit. Thank you, Lord. Uh, kung meron mang naging challenges, uh, we made it. Uh, thank you, Lord. The family is complete. And... Um, Personally, of course, it was a big year for me that I was uh, able to do Dharna. Um, for me, it was just a short uh, stint, but talagang 
it was a big challenge for me because I, I really felt really at 40, like 39, 40, this is when I'm going to do these like action pack scenes. And they were, they weren't easy. These are the hardest action scenes I've ever done in my career. But you know, that's why I say, you know, I, I really don't let my age stop me from doing the things that I feel I can do. So, you know, I heard this somewhere and if I'm, what, what, what can you do if you didn't think about your age? So, diba, a lot of us are restricted because we feel panda ko na, hindi ko na kaya yan. Pero, if you take that out, malaki, we can do so many things talaga. Um, and this is all a gift from God. And then, what are you most with? I would just say the same thing as you, that's annoying. Um, so, uh, something else I'm uh, grateful for is uh, the support that we get from the people around us um, to, um, to help our lives, to help further our missions in life, right? So that could be work, like I have such a wonderful team um, okay. that go to war with me. Um, uh, at home, uh, we've got incredible help um, that, you know, to extent they understand what we go through. Um, hurts me and, and, and in a relationship. And so um, there's they're some of our angels in our lives. Yeah. And friends and family, you know, anybody that, that sends us a bit of positive energy, um, it, it all adds up. Um, and so I'm, I'm grateful for, for, I guess, yeah, all of the positive energy we get from, from support from, from from people. So thank you, uh, everybody, for for those messages earlier. All of all of like I'm, I'm referring to all of that stuff as well. Um, uh, you know, maybe a lot of that is is, is actually intended to ease it, but uh, I'm, I'm just happy to uh, to be on the receiving end of uh, of, of the team we have. Yeah, and of course, our biggest blessing. Um, it's the fact that we made it. <laughs> maraming ano, maraming trials ang pandemyang ito. And you know, a lot of, it really, it hasn't been easy for us individually and you know, even as a couple, we have our fair shares of, of, of challenges. But you know, the biggest blessing is that um, we, we have this, we have, diba? I have my home. We have our home, not just the structure, but the person that I get to share this home with. And now we have an addition to our home that is on the way, our baby girl. And um, so we're very, very excited for that. That is really the biggest blessing of 2020 for us. And we are excited for both of you as well. And uh, since we're already talking about what's happening in 2023, how do you plan to secure your future as a couple and as a family come next year? Uh, ben? <laughs> the, the, the plan is um, the plan is to execute the plan. Um, and when I say the plan, um, I'm, 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 I'm really consumed with, uh, with my own business. As an entrepreneur, when you have your business, so much time and energy has to uh, go uh, towards that. So, um, for for my family, for myself, for, for my team, and um, for the greater good, um, I have a, a, a plan to execute. Um, on Bookie, we're rolling out some 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 new products. We're in the payment system across all the food chains. Um, we're we're ambitious with Bookie, and uh, we have a clear opportunity to capture the Philippines. So, um, all my attention, as much attention as possible, when it's not at home with my loving wife and, <laughs> and my baby, be, uh, all my attention is there. So, uh, <laughs> it's a balancing act. Yeah. And, you know, of course, we need all of you to help support Boki and um, the new chapter of not just our personal lives, but professional lives. So that's the plan for 2023. And for me, um, my focus will be, of course, having being a family. This is my first time to be a mom. It's our first time to be parents. So I'm going to take it one day at a time. But, of course, I, I love 
the industry which I'm in. So in whatever shape or form, whether it be the Sheet of Asia podcast uh, or maybe creating something uh, instead of just being in front of the camera right away, we'll see what the future holds. Ooh, something for everyone to look forward to, whether it's Bookie or Isa's plants, just uh, be on the lookout come 2023. The next question here is, can you share with us the positive things, especially for Ben, since you started off your presentation by saying you are an optimist. What are the positive things that we can look at despite the situation? And when I say situation, let's cite a particular example. This uh, projected and an anticipated economic decline. Ben, how can we be an optimist like you? That's actually the easiest question. And the answer is, it's not going to be worse than COVID. <laughs> right? I think, Good point. Um, I think all of us, I think all of us have grown so much from, from the pandemic. Right? And, and, and I mean, First and foremost, I think mentally, right? I think we all uh, evolved and, and, and grown so much from a, from a mental standpoint. Um, and we're stronger because of it, we're wiser because of it. Um, so I think we're going to be all right. Izo, is there something you wanted to add? No, I'll answer the next question. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of the next question, here it is for you, Isa. Do you have further tips on how we can protect our future, especially our financial wellness? Um, you know, like what Ben said earlier, it's it's really the discipline. What was your the one that you said twice? Having the discipline to follow through on the plan on the yeah. budgets, right? <laughs> yeah, and. Um, it's right now, to be honest, uh, let's minimize our spending. It, it's as simple as that. We have to be as uh, frugal as can be. Even, I know it sounds tough because it's the holidays, but best effort lang. Like, personally, we'll just share. Uh, you just, we, we, you're trying to you know we have a baby we don't know how much that will realistically cost so we're 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 i know what would you call it like we're really being mindful of our spending like we're not making big purchases just yet i i actually came across a video of gary vaynerchuk saying that and that's what woke me up because i wanted to move to a new place I, you know all these things and then he said renovations uh cars house like all these things that you want to do getting a mortgage rethink it first in in the at the moment um just hold off a bit if there is a projected um uh, hip right so <laughs> anyway, so I, I really am being being mindful and conscious of my spending um, to protect the future of my family. It's just a short sacrifice that we can make for now, but the bites like delayed gratification, it will always be there for us. It doesn't mean that we are missing out on certain things in life just because we're not getting it right now. But what we also need to do to protect our financial wellness, I feel it's very important, is to invest in our health. Um, it can be from making sure that we have, we are insured. Because, you know, there are mga bagay na hindi tayo may iwasan. Yung others, kasi, mga kotse, ganyan, hindi naman talaga siya need right away. Pero, like I said, health is health. So, Make sure that you are insured, especially for critical illness. You know, certain things, um, uh, if you don't have an HMO yet, you can have that. Um, if you have some budget to spare, get insurance because it's really a worthy investment because 
in, in just a few years, parang pensionado ka na, di ba? Parang ganun yun, may balik na agad sa iyo. So, your money doesn't really go to waste. It's, it's an investment for you. And your money will grow. And like in AIA, there's also AIA Vitality. Because I said invest in health, di ba? And you mentioned AIA Vitality earlier. And so it's a wellness program that can motivate all of us to live a healthier life. So just focus on our wellness and health. And then I'm sure you have some inputs because ito talaga si Mr. Finance in, in our relationship. There are tools, as I said before, there's tools and resources out there to help us with these things. The internet is a wonderful, wonderful thing. Uh, AIA, you did just mention that have offer offer uh, resources through the um, uh, AIA Vitality, right? Again, resources at your fingertips to to help you uh, get on or stay on this this um, this wellness up and wellness path. Thank you very much, Ben and Isa. We are not done with you yet because right now we are going to open the virtual floor for those who sent in their questions for Ben and Isa. Um, let's get to that right now. I have a question here. This person says, I am also getting married soon and we are planning to start our family. Any tips on what we should be ready for? And that's in terms of financially and physically. What's your answer? Uh, so I, I, I'll, I'll try to tackle that. Um, so how should a kind of a new family be ready financially and physically? Um, uh, I'll answer that, and then I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna add something else at the end. Um, so, so financially, uh, it goes back to just proper budgeting and I think um, you know the hardest thing one of the hardest things to do um, in a uh, you know when I think um, getting married is, is 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 being adults and having very deliberate conversations about uh, Money. finances um, and um, so this connects to my next point it's not about just having a very deliberate conversation about finances it's also about having a deliberate conversation on how we're going to treat each other uh, mentally. How can we support each other? Right. So the the the, the, the part I wanted to, to, to add there is uh, yes, finances, um, physical health is important, um, but it all all is underpinned by our mental health. And um, you know, your your partner in marriage is your most important ally in in that journey of mental health right we're, we're there to support each other in our growth uh in eating our traumas so um yeah it, it all starts there right having deliberate deliberate conversations about these important things that that often you know are not addressed until actually something bad happens and that's when we talk about it right okay my next question here is um for both of you, because you're both very active and consistent with that, what keeps you motivated to stay fit and active throughout this busy season? Like with all the Christmas parties and all uh, the eating, what do you do? Uh, well, I thought that like, uh, whatever season, wherever we are, because it's a habit, and and and. Because it's a habit, it's 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 hard to break the habit actually. So um, the motivation comes from that. It's second nature to us how we look for it. Um, and as a matter of fact, I feel like we're grumpier if we don't move. Uh, so and that's not just because we want to lose weight or something. Uh, it's just because we want to feel good. Uh, and like I said earlier, um, it's it's really just reframing that um, instead of having it be a chore, it becomes a blessing. And with just that, uh, you're already seeing it in a different light and enjoying it more. But, you know, you also have to forgive yourself if you don't get to move, especially in this busy season. Um, so what keeps you motivated to move? Um. 
to me, the formula is two parts. Find something you enjoy. Uh, I found um, tennis uh, and, and okay. paddle. I, I super love any racket sport. I generally love sports, so I, 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 I do I do stuff that I enjoy. Um, but otherwise, the other the other part of my formula is, I think this goes for everybody. When you work out, you can actually eat more. So I work out <laughs> to eat. Um, you know, at least after you know, when I eat after a workout, I you know certainly lift feel less guilty, right? Of course, you know it doesn't mean you can eat like more more stuff that's bad for you, but like um, that's not advised. But uh, yeah, generally can eat more. I can definitely you know I don't feel guilty about dessert or workout earlier. Okay, uh, since you're already uh, leading into this question, I have one here that goes, I've always been active, but I find it hard to eat healthy. Okay, everyone here is raising their hand. That, that's me. That's my question. Any tips on how I can motivate myself to eat clean? Is there such a thing? Yeah. So Ben is like, starts with discipline. And it is that. It is a habit. Again, we'll go back to habit, which is a discipline, right? That you do day in and day out. It's harder also to do that because of the social gatherings right now. It is a festive season. And what do you do when there are festivities? You celebrate. So, right, to be honest, at this point, please don't even give yourself guilt or a hard time if you're eating a few extra calories, especially during the holiday season. But yes, Soon enough, uh, January is here and we can build healthier habits and be disciplined about it. So, and when I say that, I mentioned this earlier, if you go off track, it doesn't mean it's over. It just means you went off track. You can always make your way back there. What about you, Ben? Is there anything you'd like to add to that? Um, again, going back to one of my earlier points, it goes back to knowing what you want, right? I think a lot of people will say they, they want to, to eat healthier, but, but I think until they, they like clearly state what their, you know, bigger intentions in, intentions are in life, I want to be, uh, a certain weight for a certain time, I want to be sexy, I want to be healthier, whatever it is. Um, you know, it all starts there, setting super clear intention at the beginning. Um, when you do that, you have a much a much higher chance of, of, of complying with, with, with those goals. Um, but otherwise, you know, the only other thing I'll say is, is, is start small, right? Um, uh, you know, obviously a, a lot of us eat more sugar than more sugar than we should um you know if, if you drink a lot of soft drinks that are high in sugar uh oh then start there right just one week take away the yeah. soft drinks replace that with, with fucking water or something um and then have a new smaller goal uh, a few weeks later right yeah. just one small goal at the time if, if it's because it could be too much like are you gonna be are you gonna quit everything? Are you gonna be like gluten free, dairy free, and that makes it like sugar free? It's it can be overwhelming. So it could be like, what is the most tempting yeah. thing for you? And maybe start with that. But have a cheat day. I don't want to call it a cheat day. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah. 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 I, I like to reframe it as um, a carb up or just an indulgence, de ba? Like, because I'm not cheating on anybody. I am. Yeah. You know, like, it's a mindful, conscious decision that I'm making. I'm going to have this cookie. And kasama siya sa plan ko. Because, you know, this is... <laughs> this cookie. Ben's cookies. Um, kasama siya sa plan ko. Because I, I worked, you know, hard for this. And I should not feel guilty about it. I don't want to feel guilty about a treat that I'm giving myself for... You know, being disciplined. That is part of the discipline, actually, that you are building. Because, Shemper, there will always be tempting things, the right? so, so, you just have to know also when to have it. Thank you so much. You know what? Energetically as well, if you're feeling guilty about eating something, 
all the more it will stay in your body. But if you just enjoy it fully, you know, it's not even going to translate into fat. Thank you so much for being generous with your time, Ben and Isa. Earlier, Isa was even sharing that, you know, it's something that you've already enjoyed. Nanjan lang yan. You know, you can always go back to that after you've set your goal. So if you have a craving, have that. You know, don't have everything else that is on the table. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Round of applause, virtual applause and love, please, for Ben and Isa. Send it over on the chat. We will surely take note of all the learning shared today. Thank you so much to both of you. And congratulations on the baby. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, everyone. We really enjoyed our time with you, with all of you today. Happy holidays. Thank you for blessing our holiday season. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Jenny. Thank you so much, Ben and Isa. What a lovely couple love their energy love their smiles all right now as we continue talking about rewards we are not done yet okay we still have that raffle coming up a little bit later on plus we have one more presenter so just stick around for all of these we are going to continue talking about rewards that we can enjoy we'll also like i said have a raffle at the end of our program you just need to answer a post event survey which we will be sharing later on up for grabs three units of Garmin Vivo Fit 4, or you can also be one of five winners of Enchanted Kingdom regular day passes for two. Just keep it glued to your screens, okay? Now, as we bring this forum to a close, let us welcome one of AIA Vitality's fiercest. She graduated cum laude from the University of the Philippines de Le Mans with a degree in business administration and accountancy. She has been a financial planner with AIA Philippines for more than nine years. Now she is a financial planner international awardee as a million dollar roundtable qualifier for seven consecutive years. This is since 2015 another one with consistency and a global awardee as unit manager under Gamma Global for four consecutive years since 2018. We have with us Senior Unit Manager, Grace Quinto. Thank you. Thank you for that lovely introduction, Jelly. And thanks as well for Ben and Isa for blessing us with their gifts of fitness, finance, and future. And for today, I'll be sharing with you my gift, uh, the three simple steps to financial freedom. And according to T. Harv Ecker, what does financial freedom mean? So financial freedom means the ability to live the lifestyle you desire without having to work on or rely on anyone else for money. So I highlighted a few keywords here. It's the ability. So anyone can really do it, can make it happen. And living the lifestyle you desire, not just a simple lifestyle, but yung gusto mo talaga. And not having to work or rely on anyone else for money. Diba napakagandang definition. And if you want this kind of financial freedom for yourself, please type in the chat box the word freedom. I'm sure marami sa atin ang may gusto nito. However, not everyone gets to this point. But today, I'll be sharing with you three simple steps how we can get things started for us. Ayan ang dami king in their word freedom. So the first step is to assess your life. No? Ganun agad. Sakto, end of the year na rin naman. It's about time na to assess our 2022 and what our lives have been so far. And according to Leon Ho, the CEO and founder of Lifehack, there are six aspects of life that we need to be aware of. And he says that all these six need to be balanced and fulfilled in order for us to function naturally and optimally. So if bibigyan mo ng greed yung sarili mo on all six aspects, what score would you give each one? Ano kaya, no? Out of 10, would you have 10 out of 10 in all each, in all of these? And something to ponder more on is what score would you like to end with by next year, you know, by 2023, in five years, or even after 10 years? Where do you want to be in all these six aspects? So I'm happy to share with you guys that my AIA or AIA Vitality can get you started in those three aspects right now, physical health, 
uh, wealth and money and mental strength. And did you know that you can do a self-assessment twice a year for all of these areas, just at the tip of your fingertips? You can find it in your AIA Vitality app. And by answering these, you can even find out your vitality age. What's vitality age? It's like your lifestyle age. Magkakaalaman na if your body is younger, the same, or older than your real age, no? Don't worry, kayo lang makakakita ng number na yon. And now that we know that the first step to financial freedom is to know where you are right now. And sabi niya ni Ben earlier, to have a vision where you want to be. Then let's go straight to step number two. Step number two is to start with the right foundation. Not just in terms of your money, your finances, but of course, in health and wellness too. In wellness, that means your six life aspects are in sync. They're working together, no? Physical, mental, your work, your money, your finances, your spiritual well-being to be able to live a full life. And then when we say finances, that is having a strong and good foundation, which is very important because it will hold everything together. Diba? Sab ilang ulit na sinabi ni Ben kanina, we must have the discipline. Imagine a house, three floors, pero walang foundation. Like, pinatong lang yung bahay doon. And sa Philippines, diba, maraming mga natural calamities. Baka onting lindol lang. Or bumahala na onti, agusin na yung bahay. No, most likely, magandaling mag-collapse kapag nagkalindol. And what if we're talking about years and even decades of hard work, hard-earned money? then isang financial catastrophe lang, wipe out lahat. Baka may utang pa. And what does a financial, a stable financial foundation look like? Yung naka-highlight right now, the one in the rectangle. Kailangan solid at malalim ang pundasyon nito. And Ben and Isa have been sharing about these two areas earlier. So we start with the right foundation by focusing on these two key areas. So let's start with managing your money. Do you have an idea how much you earn? Malamang, Alam natin yan, especially 13th month, no? December, and daming ganap. But how about how much do you spend on? No? On what items do you spend on these things, no? How come walang natitira by the end of the month? And how much do you get to save and invest? Ilan na ba, ano na ba yung net worth mo? Ano na ba yung naipon mo over the, last, over the last few years that you've been working or over the decades that you've been working? That's managing your money. Treating your own finances like it's a company. Sabi nga nila, a good measure of wealth is not how much you earn, but how much you keep. And natin, and how much you keep growing. Mas maganda ko na grow din yun. And the second level is building your safety net. No, your savings na pwede mong spend, and the savings for the rainy days, aka your emergency funds. And here is a guide on how you, how much you need to set aside for emergency funds. It depends kung kayo ay may financial dependence or wala. Just base it on the monthly expenses to keep it, uh, uh, to keep it, to keep it small, kasi liquid lang yan. So you can invest some more later on. And moving on, meron akong tip for you guys tonight. And some tips, paano natin masisimulan yung right foundation? It's by starting with the right, with the right savings habit. Here is what probably happens to most of us, no? Income goes to, into our bank account. Then, bayad ng bills, credit card, due date, and check out yung mga online cards, di ba? Kakatapos lang ng 12-12. Then, mag-ipon na lang kung merong matera. Kung, no? That's a big kung may matera. The exclamation point naman sa, sa chat box kung nakaka-relate tayo. And don't worry, hindi ka nang iisa. Ayan. So marami sa atin nakaka-relate with this kind of savings habit or the lack of it, especially ngayon. Kaya we must really have that muscle, no, the discipline to keep our finances in check. And ang tip ko sa inyo today is to pay yourself first. Balik na lang natin yung formula. Medyo mahirap natin gawin yun, ha? Paano ba yan? Paano ba? So I'll give you a second tip how you can start uh, start this way. By using the money jar system. Ben also touched on this earlier, no? Uh, putting it in jars. Not a physical jar, maybe your bank accounts or something that you can physically or um, uh, uh, spread your money so hindi mo siya mauubos. Splitting it into three, 10%, the give jar or the tithe jar. No, if you, We can donate, you can give it back. 20% is what you pay for yourself. Sa na yan. Sa future self mo, hindi today, ha? Future self. And you can spend the rest. Obusin mo, guilt-free, you can do it. Hindi ka, na, hindi ka naaabot sa point na may natira ba? 
Because you've already paid yourself first. Yun ang mga technique. And I also have a bonus tip for everyone here tonight. Don't forget the other item in the formula. You can, you can still increase that side. We'll have multiple sources of income. Get paid for what your time, your skills, and your knowledge are worth. And this leads us now to our third and final step towards financial freedom. Nasa last na tayo is this stocks, bonds, mutual funds. Ano ba yung best investment? Crypto ba? NFTs? Real estate investment trusts? Real estate? Property? Ano ba talaga? It's not any of those. No? Not, I'm, I'm not happy to tell you na hindi yun yun. No? Ito talaga siya ang the best investment. Take a look at this photo. What happens? But this is a tumbler. What happens if I pour five liters? Kasha, kasha, kasha ba dyan? No? Ano mangyayari dun sa tubig? Malamang it will overflow. So this tumbler actually represents you. How big is your tumbler right now? How are you growing in terms of financial knowledge, growing your savings, investments? How about your physical and mental well-being? Do you, do you have that discipline or that habit? If not yet, you can start. Diba? Today is the best day to start. So in reality, you are the best investment, not just the aspect of finances, but also physically and mentally for your whole, you know, your six aspects of life. And I'm happy to tell you that with AIA Vitality, you can invest in yourself. This can be a tool that can help and guide you to live the best life with Total Health Solutions. So let's go through each one. First is live better. It means hitting all three aspects, diba? the physical, mental, and financial well-being. And you can find it all in just one app, uh, AIA Vitality app. And how will those be measured? How can we track those points, no? what Jelly has been sharing, hitting the points and getting vouchers? With AIA Vitality Reward System, it will push you to do one more every day. Sabi ni Jelly, tapusin na ng Wednesday yung target, no? then just three days done with the week's target. And accumulating these points, and by practicing good habits, you can change your life because I'd like to share with you how it has changed mine. This is me. I know how to ride a bike. Simple lang yun for me. It could be a hobby. I can hang out with friends, enjoy it. Now do it from time to time. But if I am to earn money from biking weekly, this will lead in. No, hindi lang weekly, kupedi daily. You can earn rewards, not just through biking. You can also earn it by walking and even working out. No, kahit nasa bahay lang, if you want to go outdoors, you can also do it. And aside from that, you can also avail discounts on my biking gear, outfit, working equipment from our brand partners, as we can see here on the screen. Since 2015, I got into the habit of exercising regularly. And that commitment actually translated to other aspects of my life. No, Tama yung kaninang drawing na six aspects. I felt healthier. I had higher self-confidence. I leveled up my performance and bagged my very first million dollar round table qualification. And it tuloy tuloy na from then on. And now most people would be shocked to hear that I am a mother of two in just the last two years, not during the pandemic, very productive. This picture was taken on the right side, was taken barely two months after giving birth to my second child this year. And what did I do differently for my second child? I began working out immediately. Kasi no first child go, Nagpahinga muna ako eh, so tumaba ako noon. But after my second child, sabi ko mag-workout na ako regularly. Kaya naman pala. And AIA Vitality has been very, very instrumental in giving me that discipline to work out. No, Kahit walang reward na, sobra-sobra na yung points, okay lang. Because now I am living healthier, better, and hopefully longer life. And as Ms. Isa said earlier, working out should not be a chore, but a blessing that you can do it, that you can still do it. And aside from these health benefits, I'm happy to share with you as well that there are more perks, no? such as gym membership discounts, screening, checkup discounts, as well as healthy lifestyle brand partners. No? Kahit saan ka dyan bumili, just show your app, you got the discount already. And syempre, if you like traveling like me, airline and ho hotel discounts are up for grabs. No? Book ka lang ng book out there, lalo na ngayon, it's back. No? With the vengeance, you can keep on traveling. And under Protect Better, here are our, here are our flagship solu health solutions along with other financial plans. AIA Med Assist, Health Cover, AIA, AIA All-in-One Plus. Now, as mentioned by Ms. Isa earlier, it's best not to be protected in, in terms of your health because we cannot, we cannot tell actually you know, what can happen and how deep our pockets can reach. 
And uh, we have other financial plans as well that may suit your needs, depending on your budget pa. No? Try mo, test mo. We have programs for savings and investments, so you are always on the go. You can travel around the world nang masaya pa rin yung bank account mo, even after traveling. We also have plans for breadwinners, so you can always have that peace of mind. Even put up a college fund for your kids with guaranteed placements. Eventually, let your money grow so you'll have a comfortable and graceful retirement. Hindi yung pinagpapasahan. Pinagpapasapasahan. And with AIA Vitality, you also get boosted insurance coverage, additional investment funds, which is very unique, by the way, with AIA, and discounted insurance premiums. Di ba? Ang daming perks. And lastly, you can get better with AIA Vitality in partnership with Easy Health, such as teleconsults, and even have your symptoms checked for free. And that, guys, is the best investment that we can have here to invest in yourself. So in summary, there are three simple steps to financial freedom. Number one, assess your life. You know, sit down, just a, a few minutes long to know where you are right now. Give a score for each of the six aspects of life where you want to be as well by next year, in five years, 10 years from now. Then start with the right foundation and the right savings habit. For both wellness and finances, it applies. It's not yet too late. And number three, to choose the best investment. And that is you, my friend. Have good health habits, well-managed finances, with the help of our AIA Vitality Total Health Solutions. So go ahead and talk to your financial advisor today and explore how AIA Vitality can be good for you and be a member today. So thank you so much and enjoy the weekend. Thank you so much, Grace. Thank you for the reminder, first of all, that it is not how much you earn, but how much you keep, indeed. And uh, pay yourself first. But I just like to reiterate, that is for your future, okay? Now pay yourself first, and then that's the one, that's the jar, or that's the bucket you're going to use to pay for all those things that you fancy, that you want to check out. No, that is for your future. All right. Well, that marks the end of a worthwhile hour that is all about finance, fitness, and the future. Three Fs for you, unboxed this afternoon, courtesy of AIA Vitality. Remember to always enjoy being healthy. We get to do the things that we want if we are healthy, if health is not standing in our way. So let's take care of it first and foremost, okay? We deserve it. Our bodies deserve it. Now, as promised, we will be having a post-event raffle wherein you can become one of our three winners of a Garmin Vivo Fit 4 or one of our five winners of Enchanted Kingdom regular day passes for two. That's the reason why I have my uh, Chris hat on because it is time to raffle off the prize just scan the QR code on screen or visit the link that is sent in the chat box there you go it's already on the chat box just click on that link that form accomplish it fully and you already have an entry so you never know you just might be the one to receive a message that you've won one of Garmin Vivo Fit 4s or the Enchanted Kingdom regular day passes for two so do that right now answer the post event survey fully all right don't leave out any question unanswered once submitted you are now entitled to one raffle entry an AIA representative will reach out to our winners next week so accomplish it fully rest assured that you have an entry speaking of entries do not forget to send your entries for the december raffle of aia vitality if you're already a member if you are not yet what are you waiting for take it from me okay what i love about aia vitality is just you know the rewards the vouchers that you get weekly for moving, for walking, for working out, for swimming, for sleeping, for eating healthy, for going for a health check. Those things that you do that you have to do anyway, you get rewarded. You're going to get back what you paid for the membership with the rewards. I can tell you that right away because when I got the uh, my health test, my health check, and I got my discount, I realized with that alone, 
I already got my membership payment back. The membership fee, I already got it back. Plus, I get rewarded every single week for working out. How fantastic is that? So if you're not yet an AIA Vitality member, trust me, get on it. All right. So send those entries in for the December raffle of AIA Vitality, home improvement appliances, refrigerator, washing machine, Dyson fan. All of those are up for grabs with AIA Vitality health check tests. That's your BMI, your cholesterol, your blood sugar, and there's one more that I'm missing, but just four health check tests. And then for working out, moving your body, you can join for a chance to win home entertainment appliances. Up for grabs this month, the home entertainment system. There is a projector, a sound bar. You just need to accumulate at least 100 points every week. What is 100 points? It's at le you get 50 points for at least 7,500 steps. For hitting 12,500 steps, you already get 100 points. You already have a raffle entry for that week. It's that easy. And that is it for our fitness, finance, and future talk. See, I can go on and on talking about AIA Vitality. I tell everyone about it, seriously, because I'm just so in love with AIA Vitality. Thank you all so much for joining us today as we wrap up the year with this AIA Vitality Forum. An absolute pleasure and honor being with all of you today. Thank you very much for having me again. My name is Jelly Victor, wishing everyone a Merry, Merry Christmas. And we all have a happy and healthier New Year. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Move. Bye.